This is the largest uh, scientifically wild caught verified anaconda that we have. Wow. In scientific literature. I mean, there's people have records of bigger ones. I've seen bigger ones. Um, this is, we named her Eleanor after my grandmother. That's the 18 foot one. This is the 18 feet, six inches. She was 220 pounds, but she was hungry. She was. <sighs> Look at the size yeah. of that thing. Yeah. Yeah. My God. Yeah. So if, if that one that got a hold of you, that's not this one. It's a different no, one. No, that the one that got a hold of me was, you know, five feet shorter than this one. This, 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 this wow. thing is a dragon. This thing is like the Kraken. There's no way. No, what, how big do they get? That's JJ, by the way. I keep talking about it. Um, okay. So here's my measurement. Um, and actually somebody recently sent me a, a video of you and, uh, Forrest Galante yeah. talking about this, about how big can an anaconda get. Me and JJ were out on this place called the floating forest one night. And, I, you know, I was trying to like, I was thinking about like getting on the cover of National Geographic. I was thinking about like, you know, <laughs> getting attention at that time. Right. And, uh, but we, we, we had gone deeper down the Amazon rabbit hole than like anyone had ever gone. We found this place, the floating forest where you're walking, on, on rafts of floating grass and you're walking past treetops. So there's a forest underneath the lake, but you're walking on the surface of it. And the anacondas love it. Wow. Because they can sit on these, on these grassy islands and if anything comes, the whole thing is like a giant tympanic membrane. As soon as something takes a step, they're like threat and they go down. And just like any big fish, just like any ancient giant crocodile, those shrewd old motherfuckers that have been there for a century, they, that's where they live. And so we were out there at like two o'clock in the morning and we're walking on these grassy rafts and JJ's going, this is anaconda. And I went, that is not anaconda because the, ra- the grass was pushed down, but it was like, it was this big. And I was like, this, this can't be anaconda. And he's going, this is, he goes, if it was a crocodile, he goes, you'd see the, you know, the feet. And I was like, it just can't be. And then at like middle of the night, the stars are shining in the, in the, the black water and everything. And we're by the tops, we're in the canopy of a forest on top of a lake and we see two anacondas. One of them is so big that I would say it was probably 24, 25 feet. <gasps> Gigantic. That was an 18 footer. Then there was like another like a 16 footer on it. And my first response was we have to catch this snake. And so I jumped on it. I just didn't think <laughs> about it. I just jumped on the snake. <laughs> oh my God. And, and so the snake and you know, I always say like, you know, picks or it didn't happen, but th- this was the middle of the night. I jumped on the snake. And as I'm holding it, the one measurement I have is that I was holding onto the snake and my fingers couldn't touch. That's how, what? that's how big this thing was. And so it, dra- what? it dragged me to the edge of the grass. What? That big. Oh my that God. Big. Oh my God. Your yeah. fingers couldn't touch. Yeah. So like, I oh was- my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Dude, that's so big. It's so fucking big. And people said, oh, did it eat something? And it was like, no, that was, that was the, that was how big the snake was. And I know. Because when she got to the edge, to the edge of the grass, I dipped in head first. And this snake could have turned around and just eaten me. She didn't. Her head was like bigger than a Rottweiler. It's bigger than Marshall's. Oh, my God. Um, but she dove into the water. Her idea is just escape, you know, stay alive. So she goes down and I, my face poked into the water and I was like, fuck that. You know, you start, you, you look straight down into hell down there. And I was sitting there holding onto the grass with this giant anaconda rushing by me, you know, 25 feet of anaconda slithering past me. And I put my hand on her. And as she went by, my hand eventually went and then her tail slipped by me. And I was just, just alone in the dark in the Amazon. And I'd just seen this dragon. And then I turned around and went, what the fuck happened to JJ? And JJ's just standing there and he turned completely white. And he was just, his circuits were blown. He was like, and I was like, you could have helped. <laughs> I was like, you could have helped, man. So can you just help me out here? Yeah. So there, the, the treetops, essentially there's water yeah. under the treetops. So you're walking on the treetops. Yeah. So how deep is the water below you? Like 30, 40 feet. You're, so yeah. you're, you're essentially walking on... Grassy just, islands, floating is vegetation. It, is it like the, the in this video? Is so it yes. the same similar terrain? So yes, I'm, I'm, and thank you for not playing the sound on this because... But yeah, it's basically exactly like this. It's see those islands over there? Yeah. There's floating grass. And so this is actually how we caught the big one. Um, you know, everybody, everyone starts, JC, you see JJ, JJ, JJ un, has unlocked everything. JJ's like, there's an anaconda, there's an anaconda. Nobody else saw it. And then I'm the only person that's willing to fuck with the head. And so they, they get the boats. This is literally how we caught the biggest anaconda that's ever been caught. So the, we the camera guy. I was like, get the fuck out of here. And I just remember in this moment being like, do I really want to do this? 
Do I really like? Did I do I really want to do what I signed up to Where, do? Do you see it in the grass? I can see it here. I can see it here, and I'm I'm just going. Please, I wish. Can I? Can I? Can I turn back? And so, for the people just listening, you're standing on the edge of the boat. You jump off into the grass, and you run. And and thankfully, like I GoPro, have a good yeah a GoPro on. Yep, and then you see there's my team. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody jumping in. So we had all these people that have all handled big snakes before coming in and see, I don't have the head. We didn't have the head. JJ had the tail. JJ got the tail. This guy, Jonas had the tail. Mosin had the tail. Lee had the tail. Everybody's holding onto the snake. We're using the boat to keep ourselves up. And then I got the head. Whoa. And then as soon as I get the head, it's I know I'm going to get wrapped again. Oh my God. I mean, this is like, look at it. This is like, and this is the 18 footer. Yeah, this was the 18 footer. So oh, look at the size of this thing. Yeah. So when people are like, why don't you catch the 25 footer? I'm like, well, look, look at this. The difference in just like I'm seeing how big this is, it's unbelievably big. And the idea that something was almost 10 foot bigger than this. Yeah. And much thicker around. Much, much thicker around. This girl was skinny. Oh my god. Um, yeah. In a second, in a second, they'll show us walking with her. That is so um, wild. And you get a sense of really how big she is, but. And you got to keep a hold of that. That bitch can yeah. swallow your head. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. Look at what is that feeling like where you're holding on to the head of that thing? Yeah, no, it was completely, completely wild. And it was just, I honestly, in that moment, it was like, you want your best friends there. Because, oh. man, that was, that was scary. That was very scary. And so what is the plan? What do you do with this once you capture it? Do you measure it and then let it go? Yeah, so for this one... Um, here, look, there's a shot. There's a shot coming up where we like we kind of have her stretched out for a second. But oh with this one, we God. put a radio transmitter down her throat and we were able to track her movements to learn about the home range as a female anaconda. So she swallows it? Yeah. It's just like a like a big pill. Oh, wow. How big? Mm, like that. a Zippo lighter? Sure. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that head. Oh, my God. Look at the teeth. Yeah. They were like, that's the queen of the Amazon. <sighs> Um, but yeah, she was old. She had so many scars. And so we measured her 18 feet, six inches. And then, uh, the friendly people at discovery channel changed it to 19 feet, six inches on the show, which was always interesting. How dare they? How dare they? Um, that sounds like Hollywood. Yeah. You just got to juice it up just a little just, bit. Just a little bit. Just turn it up. <laughs> um, it's impressive enough. You fucks. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's so immense.